In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the new voltage output limiter function of Scorpion Tribunus 3 ESCs using firmware 16 or higher. We will be testing on our Taito thrust stand with a power supply. One fixed constant of electric motor design is the KV, RPM per volt. So if you have a higher voltage, like at the start of a battery, the motor will spin faster and therefore pull more current. As demonstrated here, I have the difference between a fully charged 48 volt battery and a discharged battery around 43 volt. You can see that the current, thrust, torque, RPM, and power are all drastically different due to the varying voltage. So we have implemented a new adjustment. Value D8, voltage output limiter, as stock is disabled, but you can enable it, and you can set what is the maximum voltage output that the ESC will send to the motor. Here I have set 43 volts, so the ESC will only send 43 volts to the motor. Even if I have the battery fully charged or at a higher voltage, the output will be fixed. As demonstrated here, when I have a high voltage or a lower voltage, torque, thrust, and RPM are all very similar. To further demonstrate this, I will lower the voltage output down to 30 volts. Now I will do a test run and I will manually adjust the voltage on my power supply. So I'm starting at 50 volts, but it is only sending 30 volts to the motor. You can see the RPM is a, around 5200 plus and the thrust is around 11.2 plus. As I am lowering the voltage, you will see that the thrust remain about the same and the RPM as well remain about the same. Now my limit is set at 30 volt, so of course, if the battery voltage go below 30 volt, then the RPM will begin to drop and the thrust will go down. But once I get back above 30 volt, everything will recover. Note, this is not a RPM governor. It is not a fixed RPM limit. It's just limiting the output voltage. So the RPM and thrust may vary depending on the efficiency of the motor at a set voltage and load. To visualize this on the log, you see we have throttle output, which is fixed. You can see the battery voltage, which of course goes down and then back up. And then you can see the output power of the ESC. So of course, when the battery voltage is high, the output power is kept low. As the battery voltage starts to drop, the ESC will raise the output power. Of course, when the voltage gets below 30 volt, the output power is just maxed out at 100%. But of course, once you get above 30 volt again, it will start reducing the power to hold the fixed voltage output. One further question you may have is if this feature affects the linearity of the throttle control, and it does not. We have a special function inside so that you have linear throttle at either low or high voltages. The throttle response and the linearity of the throttle curve is always fixed and uses the full range of the throttle curve. As shown here, using low voltage and high voltage. This function is very useful to have equal performance at both charged and discharged batteries. Further, with the rise of semi-solid state batteries, which have a wider operating voltage range, it helps to provide equal power even at very different voltage ranges. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this informative.